Who is Ember and what is she like when we first meet her? Ember is a young fire girl who lives in Element City. And when you first meet her, she is working hard. She's got one thing in mind and it is to take over her parents' shop. She's very passionate, she's very loyal, quite defensive, but she's also really beautiful. Mamadou introduces us to Wade and what is he like and how does he meet Ember? Wade is uh, the most compassionate, warm, open-hearted character I've ever played. He's my favorite. He meets Ember by getting sucked into her parents' uh, fire shop, more like a bodega, fire bodega. <laughs> yes, it is a fire bodega. <laughs> You're right. And then, fire and, bodega. And he sees this beautiful portrait of her family, or a picture of her family, and he's just so moved by it. But he has to, you know, he has to do his job. He's a city inspector and chase ensues. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, tell me about Element City. Who lives there and how is it all brought to life? So Element City is the big city that houses air, earth, water, and fire actually lives on the side of Element City. But it's this, it's this gorgeous, gorgeous metropolis of, I mean, a lot of water characters. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's built heavily with water people in mind, but like yeah. you see water people kind of like sliding out of boats, you see earth people, um, kind of like living in trees, like each element, oh, and the air people are just flying around, like living in their clouds. They do whatever they want. They literally do whatever they want. They're air, they can just yeah. go through things, go above things. Yeah. Um, but you see all these characters living in such a gorgeous, gorgeous world. I mean, elements in general are so colorful and it definitely is mirrored in this world too. It's a visual shock, really. <laughs> Mamadou, why is it so unusual for Wade and Ember to become friends? You know, they're afraid of each other. I mean, by their the function of their bodies. They're mm -hmm. they're worried that the other might extinguish the other, and and it's it's a real danger. Um, but they see something in one another. They see they see who they are, and they see past that, and they they take a chance on each other. Mm -hmm. Mamadou, who is Brooke Ripple, and what <laughs> is she and the rest of the Wade's family do for fun? Brooke Ripple is played by Catherine O'Hara one of the best actors in the world. Mm -hmm. um, she is also Wade's mother and the most supportive, loving mother. She reminds me a lot of my mom. She's very just wonderfully open and warm and inviting to everyone that Wade loves. She loves because by virtue of extension. So it's this really beautiful relationship that they have and they, they he's, he's definitely a mama's boy. <laughs> So Ember's relationship with her father, Bernie, who is played by the amazing Ronnie Del Carmen, um, he brings <laughs> such a paternal aspect to this as well, him also being a father. Um, but they're very, very close. And from early on in the film, you see so much bonding. Um, you know, as Bernie and Cinder, her parents, came over from Fireland to start this shop in Element City, I mean, the shop has always been a part of Ember's childhood, teenhood, and adulthood. And her hope is that eventually she can kind of learn to quell that explosive nature of hers and work at the shop and be <laughs> chill enough to handle customers. <laughs> um, and, you know, she just, she just wants to make her parents proud in the very end. How do you relate personally with your character? I relate to Ember in a multitude of ways. I think as she is, you know, learning to find herself in this film, I am definitely learning to find myself every single day um, when I meet different elements or people in my life. Um, and I have a very fiery nature. It's very passionate, very headstrong. Um, and she's also a very, very loyal character. Like she would go to the ends of the earth to protect the things that she cares about. Um, but you know, she, she has a lot to learn and I also think I really relate to her in that way as well and how close she is to her family. I am very, very close to my family and I feel like, you know, in a non-expectant way, I, I owe them everything that um, I've achieved in my life and I wouldn't be here without them. And especially my parents who have sacrificed so much for, you know, me following this creative path. Very similarly, I, I feel very strongly in the way that Ember does about her parents, about my parents as well. Mama, we're going to kind of do the question with you. Do what do you have in common with Wade? Huh. Um, Wade 
what do I have in common with Wade? I don't know. I, I, he, he represents the best of me. Um, the, what, I, what I would like to be like a lot of the time, I think he sees the best in people and tries to bring it out of them. I certainly try to do that, but I'm also, I found myself to be sometimes cynical about people. And, and this movie has helped me rem, remind me, like, hey, let's, let's have a little bit more grace for people or people around me or people that I don't know and people that are acting crazy and like, well, let me just try and be a little bit more open-minded. Um, that's one of my favorite things about Wade. He's just such a generous spirit. Leah, talk about the look of this film and how the characters look on the big screen. Mm. Wow. So the look of this film on the big screen is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, you know, the animators use this thing called anthropomorphic um, animation where these characters are quite literally walking special effects. And it's just so real. I mean, when you look at a fire, you look at water. Somehow these animators have <laughs> created that in a film, but through cartoons and animation, and everything just looks so lifelike. But Element City in general, you know, we've got red for fire, we've got green for earth, um, lilac, lavender for, for the clouds, and then these deep blues for the water. And it's just, it's a color explosion. It's so crisp, it's so clear, and the details that all the animators and Peter and Denise have infused into this film, it definitely, I think, anyone can spot those little details if they're looking for it as well, and nothing is by mistake. It's a very grand scale thing that you definitely have to go and see at theaters because of those little details that you might miss on a tiny screen. Mamadou, mm -hmm. why should people see this film? Ooh, big. This movie, <laughs> okay, well, I think people should see this movie because there's nothing, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it, especially, I mean, I've been, I, I, I watch a lot of TV, watch, watch a lot of movies, watch a lot of movies in the theater as well. Um, but I've been, I've been dying for something that is completely devoid of cynicism, that just feels pure, like really pure. And the thing that you can count on of Pixar is that they'll make you laugh and cry. And, and it's, and it's with such breathtaking detail and, and literally brand new technology, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. Not to mention Pete Sohn and Denise Reem, but it's, it starts with Pete, who spent seven years putting his heart and soul and all these animators here at Pixar, the team at Pixar, mm -hmm. we as well, the, the cast as well, everybody that's been involved with, in this has had the same single-minded mission is to do our best possible work in this movie. Mm -hmm. So when we watch this movie, I've seen it five times now. I've never seen anything I've been in five times now. I'm going to see it again. I'm going to see it in London. I'm going to see it in 3D. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see it all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to celebrate this movie because it means so much to me. Because you can feel the love off the screen. You can feel everything. It feels, it feels very passionate and alive in a way that I've never experienced before. So I, I think you got to see it in theaters to get that full effect.